North Carolina health leaders aren't too happy with Union County school leaders. They're threatening legal action if something's not done about the district's handling of COVID in the classroom. Fox 46 is Destiny McKeever's live at Stallings Elementary. And Destiny, it's been quite the controversial week there in Union County. Yeah, that's right. And Wyatt, it's been an interesting week here. We got here on Monday when the county decided to have that special meeting and then is when they voted to bring the students and staff who were in quarantine back to the classroom because they say over 7,000 of them were quarantining and that was just too much. But Dr. Mandy Cohen and top health officials in the state of North Carolina, they don't agree with that. They sent out this letter here. If you take a look at your screens, the letter came down saying the state and the district have similar goals to keep students and employees in class, but it also says COVID policy in the North Carolina COVID toolkit for schools must be followed. The state is giving Union County until tomorrow to put in place the quarantine policy, allowing students with the virus and exposed to the virus sometime in isolation. It's important to note that Union County is one of the three districts in the North Carolina area reporting the most COVID cases in children. The district has a 16% positivity rate, which is well above the 5% the CDC is expecting. Legal action could be taken by 5 o'clock tomorrow. If that quarantine policy is not back in place, of course, we'll be standing by right here in Union County with the very latest. Reporting live this morning, I'm Destiny McKeever, Fox 46.